Have you ever experienced the thrill of being plunged into a world of suspense and intrigue where every twist and turn keeps you on the edge of your seat? The 1955 TV series Alfred Hitchcock Presents was a masterclass in suspenseful storytelling. With its anthology format, it captivated audiences through a series of standalone episodes, each with its own captivating narrative. This show was a timeless classic that left an indelible mark on the history of television, and it continues to be celebrated for its contribution to the thriller genre. Is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some fascinating facts about this iconic series. Alfred Hitchcock Presents not only showcased Alfred Hitchcock's exceptional talent as a director, but also introduced viewers to a multitude of talented actors and writers. The show's distinct opening sequence, featuring Hitchcock's droll humor and macabre wit, became a hallmark of the series. Alfred Hitchcock Presents was a treasure trove of suspense, mystery, and unexpected twists, a show that truly left its mark on the world of entertainment. So, if you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series, please share it with us in the comments below. We're eager to hear your stories. Alfred Hitchcock Presents, a TV series from 1955, is known for its iconic opening and closing music, Funeral March for a Marionette by Charles Downod. The series almost featured Psycho as an episode, using sets, cameras, and crew from the show. Notably, for each episode, Alfred Hitchcock filmed two sets of opening and closing narratives. One set was for American viewers, while the other set was tailored for European audiences, as Hitchcock's jibes at sponsors were it well received in European markets. During most of the third season, Hitchcock even presented the openings and closings in French and German since he was fluent in both languages. These unique aspects added to the show's charm and worldwide appeal. In 1955, Alfred Hitchcock Presents hit the small screen with its iconic music and intriguing stories. One lesser known fact about the show is that two of its episodes, The Pearl Necklace and The Matched Pearl, featured Ernest Trux's affluent men buying pearls. Interestingly, Alfred Hitchcock faced a setback in the early 1960s when Walt Disney denied him permission to film at Disneyland, possibly due to Hitchcock's previous work on Psycho. These tidbits offer a glimpse into the show's history and its encounters with Hollywood legends. Alfred Hitchcock Presents, which ran from 1955, was a TV series renowned for its unique and intriguing elements. One of its most notable aspects was the significant influence of sponsors on the show's content and narrative. These sponsors, who played a pivotal role in funding and supporting the series, had a particular demand for episodes where the perpetrator got away with a crime. They insisted that Alfred Hitchcock himself had to provide a closing statement at the end of such episodes, assuring audiences that justice was ultimately served, even if it wasn't immediately evident in the story. This intriguing requirement revealed the delicate balance Hitchcock had to maintain as a creative force in television. On one hand, he was known for his penchant for suspense and the unexpected, and he didn't want to compromise his artistic vision. On the other hand, he had to navigate the expectations of his sponsors to keep the show financially viable. This demand for reassurance about justice being served added a fascinating layer to the show, as it often led to Hitchcock's signature dry wit and dark humor in his closing remarks, providing a clever and memorable twist to the episodes. In the end, Alfred Hitchcock Presents stands as a testament to Hitchcock's ability to adapt and innovate within the constraints imposed by sponsors, all while delivering captivating and suspenseful content. It remains a classic in the annals of television history, a showcase of masterful storytelling and artistic ingenuity. And now, you have a deeper understanding of how sponsorship influences can shape the content of a beloved series. An Unlocked Window is a gripping episode that showcases the influence of iconic works like Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho and real-life events such as the Richard Speck nurse killings, which sent shockwaves through society. This episode, which originally aired in the 1970s, taps into the fear and unease that permeated the cultural landscape during the period. The storyline follows a tense and suspenseful narrative 
with elements reminiscent of Hitchcock's classic thriller, Psycho. The psychological aspects of the characters and the setting contribute to the eerie atmosphere, as viewers are kept on the edge of their seats throughout the episode. Moreover, the connection to the Richard Speck nurse killings, which occurred just a year before the episode's release, adds an extra layer of dread to the storyline. The real-life horror of those events likely weighed heavily on the minds of viewers, making an unlocked window even more disturbing and impactful. In 1985, the episode was remade with Annette O'Toole and Bruce Davison, further solidifying its status as a classic in the world of suspense and horror television. This reimagined version breathed new life into the story, introducing a fresh generation of viewers to its chilling narrative. In conclusion, an unlocked window remains a noteworthy piece of television history, effectively blending elements of classic suspense cinema with the horrifying reality of true crime. Its enduring appeal continues to captivate audiences and is a testament to the lasting impact of suspenseful storytelling in the world of television. Alfred Hitchcock directed 17 episodes of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, including notable ones like Revenge, Breakdown, and The Case of Mr. Pelham. His influence on the series is undeniable, shaping its suspenseful and captivating storytelling. In its later seasons, the show expanded its running time to 60 minutes and was renamed the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. This transition marked a significant evolution in the series, allowing for even more intricate and suspenseful narratives. These facts underscore Hitchcock's central role in the show's success and its lasting impact on television. His contributions as a director and the show's transformation into the Alfred Hitchcock Hour remain key aspects of this iconic series. Alfred Hitchcock drew the silhouette of himself featured in the opening credits. He began his movie career as an illustrator of title cards for silent movies. This iconic silhouette is instantly recognizable to fans of the 1955 TV series Alfred Hitchcock Presents. It not only served as a distinctive and enduring emblem of the show, but also highlighted Hitchcock's early artistic talents. Before his directorial fame, he made a name for himself as an illustrator in the silent film era. This unique connection between his past and his television career adds depth to the show's history and Hitchcock's legacy as a multi-talented entertainer. The silhouette became a symbol of suspense and intrigue, just like the show itself. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of the timeless 1955 TV series, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, I invite you to pause and reflect on the unique connection you might have forged with this iconic show. Much like Hitchcock's signature suspense, the series has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of viewers like yourself transcending generations with its gripping tales of mystery and intrigue. Perhaps it was the spine-tingling music that sent shivers down your spine, or the enigmatic silhouette of Alfred Hitchcock himself, introducing each episode with his droll wit. Maybe it was the cleverly crafted plots that left you on the edge of your seat, or the unforgettable performances by the talented cast. Whatever it was that drew you in, Alfred Hitchcock Presents has been a masterclass in storytelling and a portal to a bygone era of suspenseful entertainment. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. We'd love to hear your cherished memories, personal anecdotes, or insightful thoughts about this classic series. Share your favorite episodes, the characters that haunted your dreams, or the twists that left you in awe. Your unique perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of Hitchcock's legacy and it's a testament to the enduring power of great television. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey into the world of Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your stories and memories. Stay tuned for more captivating conversations and insights, and remember, the suspense never truly ends as long as the tales of Hitchcock live on.